Hi, welcome to X's and O's with Leroy Butler. And let's get right at it. So we're going to go right to the Atlanta game. First and 10 at the 20. This is in the second quarter, 721 to go. Packers yep. are well ahead. And so this is, we're going to show two different looks at how, what the Packers threw at Julio Jones. Yeah. And this is going to be single high safety. So what would you call this, a cover three? Or? It would be cover, a cover three concept. Okay, so explain words, what that that is. It exactly. is basically you got one high safety and you already got the guys basically rotated down. You would like um, Ha Ha Clinix to stay back deep to make it look like cover two and then come and down. And then come down? That's what you would like in a perfect world. But okay. Throughout all the hard counts and all that kind of stuff, he just came down. So you can, most so, quarterbacks can understand that it's, it's either deep thirds or one safety high. So that's right. fine. Okay. But now you got to go through the concept of how do you defend these particular routes. Right. Okay. So um, really not a, a complicated route really combination here at all, right? Yeah. And the main, the main thing here is going to be Julio Jones just really running up here. And... Um, as I think we show here in that um, picture, Sam Shields has outside technique has to outside start, technique, right. and Tremont Williams has outside technique, right? And right. that's what you want. You want to funnel it to the middle? Absolutely, because you got a lot of people in here and nobody's outside, so that's the concept of it. Okay. So now, uh, Julio Jones runs his route up there. What, what are you looking for um, out of your middle guys and out of Ha Ha Clinton Dix here? Yeah, well, out of your guys that got... You know, you got Ha Ha Clinton, they has what we call curl the flat. So he, the best thing for him and Matthews, who's a little bit inexperienced, the reason why he's in red, because once you realize there's no run time, he has to come back here and redirect and, and be deep enough for any in route. And so does Ha Ha. Okay, there's no run, come in and be here. And then Barrington's the same way here. So everybody is here. So everything is like funneled in and yeah. just make sure every, you keep everything in front of you. The prob problem was that Matthews kind of bit on this route. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but as you were saying, yeah. he's he's also can come up and make this play. Absolutely. Right? So he doesn't yeah. need to bite on that guy. No, and you're playing everything deep to short. But as you'll see in the video, <laughs> that Sam gets a little at the top of the route. Right. And I it's just... You're thinking there we that go. that's a perfect one right there. Now Julio Jones makes a move, Tom, and comes great inside. Cut. I it mean, a, a great, great cut. But and Sam just got he got at the top right. He started looking out here, guessing. And you can see with the arrow, he's he's looking to the boundary. Now look right. at the opposite side with Tremont Williams. That's the best way to play it. Outside in. So if a guy runs a corner route, he has to go through him. But again, Matthews and Ha Ha Clinton, they're too shallow. You see Matthews is way, we should have him circled, but he's way up jumping up the stuff in the flat. you got to be deep enough. And now that's a big play right there here, right in that gap right there. Right. And that's what you can't have. Right. And if you're a coach, you know, you, you, you would think this is a pretty decent call, but if everybody plays it properly, you don't get these big explosion yeah. plays like this. And as we show, look at that. Uh, there's four guys around him, yet right. he finds a hole in there. See, if the... If the Quarterback sees your name as usually bad. Yeah. And so you can see Barrington and Matthews chasing. Right. They should, he should see the front of their chest. So they got to redirect and square up and make those throws elevate, and now you can get your interception. So, you know, the concept of double teaming maybe isn't what you would, ex what you would traditionally think of here, mm -hmm. where you'd have one guy here and one guy following him. But there is protection against this route, right? Absolutely. It's just yeah. not played right. Everything is covered if you're a coach. The hook, the curl, the hook, the curl, the deep routes, the deep middle, everything. And you got a, you know, a three or four man rush. Everything is fine. It's a conservative call that everybody should execute it properly. Right. But you got to have alignment, assignment, and execution. And, and you're dealing, you know, then you have to think about who your personnel is. You're dealing with a rookie and yep. a rookie uh, at the position. Linebacker. Right. And that's what they were counting on. And the, yep. Well, it's know. risk reward. Sometimes you can get rewarded, but it's some risk because these guys haven't been there before. So Right. And now um, we're going to look at a different uh, type of defense they yeah. used against Julio Jones that was yeah. equally as ineffective. And very frustrating. <laughs> 
Okay, now we're looking at a play in the second quarter, 24 yeah. seconds left. Well, let's talk about um, the concept. I think we have how they're lined up here. Yeah. And essentially they're moving into a cover two. It starts out with Clinton Dix looking like it's yep. going to be cover one. But 24 seconds, what are you protecting against? 24 seconds, they're at yeah. the 20-yard line. Well, don't think they can – the offense is going to try to get a field goal or a touchdown. Right. So as a defender – they got to go through me to get both. So you can always come up. So being deep is fine. But the problem is going for the old banana in the old tailpipe, jumping up on the underneath route and leaving the middle wide open. Right. And we're going to show the concept of that is really is not the coach's fault. This is definitely on the players. Okay. Because they got to know the situation. This is a pretty basic coverage. It's a it's, cover It's the most coverage. basic coverage that you have. Right. Now, we're, we show here... So Julio Jones, again, this is almost the same route as last time. Yeah, it time. seems like it's just pretty much the same route. And he's going to give the same old fake there. Right. And um, we show, um, if you can go to those triangles again, yep. um, this is kind of what the concept of a cover That's two is. That's in a perfect world. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you, you're yep. sort of moving uh, that triangle so that there's three guys right. around him, right? So if you put Clinton Dix, you know, if you put him right there, mm -hmm. Okay, great. He's deepest to deepest because in cover two, you're deepest to deepest. Right. So everybody's fine. But the problem is these guys, uh, 29, who I'm very disappointed because he's the best in zone. And, and Jones, they're just too shallow. Right. And they're you see They're just way the, too shallow. You see the blue around um, Jones. Yep. And if you, you go back to the Chicago cover two, the Lovey Smith cover Absolutely. two. Absolutely. If that's Urlacher, he's probably equal. He is, he is right here. Way back there. And then hip 29, I mean 21, 50, 59, and 42, they're just deep, about, you know, 22 yards deep. And these guys, though, this guy, I mean, once he's there, these guys in the hook, they're deep, too. It doesn't matter. So this and guy kind of. They're deep, too threatens here and he threatens here but who yep. cares right it doesn't matter with 24 seconds left they got one or two throws they're trying to get in position on the 20 yard line to get in position to throw a hail mary right so you come back deep enough to let them have these short throws these short throws let them have it and you drive up and make a good tackle but for a guy to catch that in the middle Wide open there is very much undisciplined. Yeah, and, you know, so this one wasn't Sam Shields' fault. He actually played it okay, but he's got to have that help in him. Absolutely, right? and you can see Sam point, like, where's my inside help? Yeah, and initially, you know, I mean, Clinton Dix is 17 yards behind this play, but you right. said that's okay. That's okay with 24 seconds left, and in cover two, you're supposed to be deepest to deepest. And so cause you can see on the other side, Morgan Bennett's a little bit more aggressive, but he's deepest to deepest. I would like Morgan really to be comfortable. I would like him to be a little bit deeper just in case something breaks loose down the middle. He can overlap. But this, this is just very, very disturbing. If you can't play cover two properly with the situation, then – Sometimes you can get out of whack. Yeah, and then you see in the end there, um, Julio Jones takes it right between the two safeties. And maybe that's where your your idea about Burnett being too aggressive, that he doesn't yes, get those extra yards if he's back there. If he's back right. there, he can break on that. He's square, looking at the quarterback. He can overlap and make a play. But your middle linebacker is way too shallow. Right. he got to be 20, 23 yards deep. Because, again, in my mind, in my film study, 24 seconds, they got two or three throws. Oh, they're trying to get to the 50 to throw a Hail Mary. But I'm not going to jump the underneath routes. What for? As a matter of fact, man, Ryan never even looked underneath. Yeah. He looked at Julio Jones the whole way. Yeah, yeah. So. Okay. So the coaches got to be pulling their hair out on this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's some things they could have called better, but in this case, right. yeah. Okay, well, we'll see whether they handle that better <laughs> next week. Yeah, because Sammy Watkins is looking at the same thing yeah. in Cal Exactly. Thanks for joining us, and we will see you next week.